Hello guys, welcome back to the channel Arbaz here. In this video, I will be showing you how you can automate your project initialization on GitHub using Python and Selenium. So uh, let me show you a uh, demo of the script, what it does is. So here is the automation script and we will uh, try to run it. So let me. So. Okay. So we also need to pass the name of the repository which we want to create. So in this uh, case, we will uh, type the script name as uh, test. So let it execute. So it has opened a browser for me and it will automatically log me in into the GitHub account. So as you can see, I'm not typing anything and it is automatically uh, doing it for me so it will now create a repository with the, the name test and after initializing the project it will automatically close the window as well so now as you can see and it is also uh, logging out me from the, the github and now it will close the browser for me so as you guys can see it has also closed the window for me so uh, stay tuned with the video till the end to know more about how you can make this script for yourself so before getting started with the video please make sure you subscribe to the channel and also press the bell icon to get notified when i post new videos so let's get started with the video So guys also i will add my github link in the description of the video so you can go and follow me there and uh, you can get the latest project which i am working and you can also contribute on the project which i am working so don't forget to follow me on github so link is in the description of the video so as you guys can see i have made a script named github auto.py so now in this script we will import uh, from selenium we'll import the web drivers so uh, what uh, it will do is like we we can uh, automate the browser thing for using this uh, web driver and also we need to import uh, one more module which will be a uh, time module to give it uh, a sleep when the page is loading so it will take some time to load the page so we don't want our script to crash at that time so also we need to, uh, to define a class uh, which we will name as github so let me type it so github so our class name is github and in that we will uh, define an initial function which will be underscore underscore in it underscore underscore and we will pass some parameters in this uh, so for now
so now as you guys can see it is uh, able to log in into my github account so i have made some changes into the script so now it is running so as you can see it has automatically filled the username and password field for me and it has logged in into my account so now what uh, is our next step is like uh, we need to get the this new button and after clicking that new button we need to get the new repository name field so for that uh, first of all uh, we need to go to inspect element and we need to get this element so after getting this element we need to copy the x path of this element and we will do the same for the uh, field for the next field as well so let's just try to like So guys finally I have done uh, uh, making this uh, script so let's just try to uh, make a repository so we will give it a name as a test2 so now it will make a login into my uh, github account and also enter my password and uh, after that it will uh, create a repository name which we will pass uh, in this uh, command line argument which is test2 so it should uh, make uh, a repository name test2 and it should also like uh, create this repository for me so as you can see it has typed test2 here and also created the repository and now it will do what it will do is like it will log, log out from my account so as you can see So that was it for this video. If you are new to this channel, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and also press the bell icon to get notified when I post new videos. If you want uh, some uh, new videos or any video idea you have, so please comment down below. So I will try to make a video on that as well. So thanks for watching the video. I will see you in the next one.